everyone in the city has been scaring me with terrifying pranks. Ben! So I'm going to use build hacks to scare each one of them, starting with Chris. Wow, what is this place, Steve? Guido, welcome to the creative realm. Hey, you can fly, just like me. Yup, and as you can see, I can access any block I want. All right, we just got to wait for our first objective. There it is, make Chris cry like a baby. Easy, I've got the perfect idea. We are going to make the grossest build I possibly can, starting off with this stone cutter table. Then I'm going to break two blocks underneath and put a dispenser right here. Then I'll grab myself an armor stand and put it inside of the dispenser. What the heck is going on? Guido, this is a build hack. The whole point is you'll see at the end. All right, now I just grab a pistol. Go ahead and break this block, put it on the side right here so it's pushing inwards. We got the lever down, push it in. Then we're gonna grab this. I prepared this earlier, the bloody Steve head. Let's go ahead and put that right there. And there we go. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Hold it in for just now, Guido, because this is where it gets fun. We press this button and we're gonna bring it to life. What the? And we are back in the real world. Look, there's Chris. Looks like he's on his way home. This is a perfect opportunity to prank him. Come on, let's go. This is gonna be so funny. Now we've just gotta wait for Chris to let his guard down. Oh, there he goes. Come on, quickly. This is all part of the prank. Let's turn the lights off. <laughs> uh, time for bed. Uh, what? what? What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Uh, must be the fuse box again. Okay, he's checking out the fuse box. Now's the time. Let's go ahead, move behind this guy, and go. Oh, man, the fuse box is totally busted. It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got him. Hey, hey, look. He's crying <laughs> like a tiny baby. <laughs> yes. Wait. Hold on, what's going on? This must be a reward for completing the objective. Oh yeah, look, I can totally run around Chris. He has no idea I'm here. This is gonna make things so much easier. Uh, oh. mm. Thanks for the cake, Chris. Next target, Arnetta. Now here's the problem. This is gonna be really tough because Arnetta isn't scared of anything. Yeah, because she's the strongest athlete in the multiverse. Don't worry, I'm gonna come up with something special just for her. We are going to make the spookiest ghost in the multiverse by using a loom. We'll start off by using a white banner, some gray dye, and we're going to use this pattern. Put the banner back in, take the white dye, and go for this one. Then I take this specific pattern, use this banner, and this black dye to make the ghost's face. We're going to grab ourselves another banner, use the black dye and the banner to grab this pattern. Then we'll need some stained glass, specifically the white stained glass. Let's see. Gotcha. Got to make a nice tower upwards, just like this. We'll put down this, then follow up with the next banner. Oh, spooky! White stained glass pane. Gotcha. And we'll use this to make some arms. And then we're going to go ahead and add the finishing touch, just a single white carpet on top, because that's going to give it a kind of see-through effect. And there we have it. My spooky, spooky ghost is finished. If this doesn't scare Arnetta, then I don't know what will. Oh, oh boy. What a workout! Time to grab my stuff and head on home! Wait, Guido, did you hear that? She's heading home! If we want to scare her, we need to move quick! Don't worry, I got this. We'll open her locker and put the ghost right here! Oh, Guido, look! Here she comes! Yeah, we got her! Uh, wait, Guido? Why is she not running away? Why, you little! Wait, Guido, what's going on? No! Hey, leave him alone! No, are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't think she's that scared, Steve. She just seems mad. Oh, man! If Arnetta doesn't get scared, that means she's going to be able to protect the other victims on my list. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is all going wrong. We need to go back. Okay, Guido, I've got an idea, but we don't have much time. If there's one thing that Arnetta must be scared of, it must be seeing herself in a terrifying situation. So we are going to make ourselves a guillotine. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. Yeah, buddy, just keep an eye on the time. We don't have long. We're going to put fences on both sides. Now, this is where the guillotine is going to be hanging. Slabs all the way across the top. And then we're going to put some trapdoors on the side right here. One goes right there. One goes right here. Perfect. Same on the other side. Use the timer. I know, dude, I know. 
go. Then it's back to our old friend, the loom. We're going to put this in, this gray dye. We're going to use this pattern right here. Back with the trap door on this side. Then we're going to hang the banner right off the top of it. And there we go. There's our guillotine. But we are still missing one thing. And that is the Arnetta head. Let's put that right there. Oh my gosh. This is so gross. A little bit of blood. And we are done. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go. Now it's time to head home. Um, hello? Who turned out the lights? I is someone there? Oh, this is perfect. She is totally blind, has no idea what's going on around her. Let's go ahead and give her a little surprise right at the entrance of the gym. Here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh, she's seen the guillotine. She looks very confused, but not really scared. Oh, come on. You're next. Ah! <laughs> That's right, run away, Arnetta. Not so tough anymore. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, Guido, who's next? Looks like it's Austin. Austin? Ah, oh, that's a problem. Austin thinks He's every so single cute. ghoul or monster is adorable and always tries to cuddle them. You're my best buddy. How are we going to make them scared? Marry me. Okay, there goes Austin. And it looks like my objective is to make their nightmares a reality. How are we supposed to know what Austin's nightmares are like? Well, they must have some kind of diary inside of their treehouse. We've just got to lure Austin out and distract them. Come on, back to the creative realm. And there we have it. This is a cuddly teddy bear. Uh, Steve, that's not really scary. Yeah, well, we're just using it to distract Austin. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the button. And there we go. The bear is in place. Okay, come on, Guido. Let's see what happens. Austin, will you be my friend? Huh? Oh, my gosh! Can I have a hug? Oh, of course you can. All right, great. Austin's distracted. That means I can head up to the treehouse. Uh, Steve, you're a ghost. Did you really need to distract Austin? Oh, yeah. All right, here we are. Diary, diary, diary. Nothing on the shelf. Nothing underneath the, the couch, I don't think. Uh, bookcases maybe up Steve, there. Steve, you know Austin. Check the fridge. Wait. What? Why in the multiverse is the diary in the fridge? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just see exactly what Austin's scared of. Dear diary, I'm going to share a big secret with you. My biggest nightmare is my friends getting hurt, especially Steve. Oh, and I also ate Chris's birthday cake and blamed it on my dog Jellybean. Don't tell anyone, okay? Wow, so Austin is scared of seeing me get hurt. Interesting. This has given me an idea. Come on, Guido, back to the creative realm. For this build, we're going to need some barrels. We are going to make a spooky coffin carried by a group of skeletons. We'll place one here for support, one right here. Get rid of that one. And now we can make the coffin just like this. Now we've got the frame of the coffin laid down. We just need a trap door. Let's go for this one and make a line of them across the top for the coffin lid. Perfect. And our beautiful spooky coffin is not quite yet complete. Because, Guido, if you remember, I mentioned using some skeletons. We're going to put three of these guys on either side. They are going to be our coffin carriers. There we go. Now we need some armor. We're going to use this special weather-themed armor. There we go. Now these guys are looking spooky. Oh, my gosh. This might be my favorite one yet, Guido. It's definitely one of the scariest. Oh, just you wait, Guido. It's going to get even better. Especially when you find out who's inside of the coffin. Okay, let's go back. Night, Mr. Bear. I'm hungry. I gotta get a snack. Okay, Austin's leaving. Now it's time for the prank. We'll just leave this here for Austin. Oh, my gosh. They look so good. And here comes Austin. Wait, who are those guys? Hey, quit ignoring me. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. They're going to be in for the fright of their life. Uh, I said quit it. Yeah. Steve? No! Oh, ho, ho, ho. No! Wow, they just faded, Steve. Eh, someone else will come along to help them. Our next target is going to be Billy. <laughs> what, ah, ah, what in the multiverse was that? I don't know. I thought someone was trying to scare us. Wait, maybe Billy is also <laughs> in the creative room. What are we going to do? Oh, he must have stolen my teleporter. Come on, we've got to get over there. He's about to enter the realm. I'm going to scare Steve again. 
It's so much fun! Okay, looks like my objective is to outsmart Billy. But how? All right, let's build something even scarier this time. Huh? I could have sworn I just placed a block. Yoink! What in the multiverse is going on? Nice is job, Steve. Out here? Okay, let's give Billy a little break here. here. Make sure that he gets it's some progress now. in. We want to make sure that he thinks he's alone. But when he least expects it, I'm going to add my very own addition to his build. Billy's building some kind of duck mm. for some reason. I don't know why he thinks I'm scared of ducks, but I know what he's scared of. And that is thinking he's being watched. All right, this is going to be great. Now I'll just... Ah! You shouldn't be here. Oh my gosh, he is so creeped out. Come on, Guido, we've got to hurry. What? Where did it go? <laughs> All right, now they're distracted again. Let's do one more sign. I warned you. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I've had enough. Ah, perfect. Now I've got this creative realm all to myself. It's time to build something to get my own back. We are going to grab some blocks and we are going to make the ultimate scary demon hand. We're going to start off by building the base of the hand just like this. Then we're going to connect them just like this. Same on the other side. There we go. Then we just go ahead and add some stairs just like this. Make sure they're all connected. Same on the other side, just like that. All right, we've got the palm of the hand ready. Now it's time for the fingers. So we'll put the thumb right here with the dripstone on top. Then we just need to add the fingers. There we go, it's looking good. Some final finishing touches just to make it look a little more natural. Like the knuckles underneath here. There we go, make sure we're covering that all up. And I think, Guido, we are just about done with our demon hand. Looks so cool! Now I really need this to scare Billy because he still has my teleporter! Okay, let's go! Ugh. Gotta get back home! Okay, come on Guido, he's on the way! We gotta put this hand down! Ah! Oh, we really got him good, Guido! Oh, and look, he's dropped my teleporter! Thank you very much! And we just managed to outsmart Billy! Now what's next? Uh, Steve, I think we have to prank everyone? Wait, what? How in the multiverse am I supposed to do that? <sighs> Thanks for meeting me here, guys. Someone pranked me today. It was too scary. I'm leaving forever. Who's with me? What about Mr. Teddy? You must leave Mr. Teddy behind, Austin. No! Let's go! Steve, I've got some bad news. We're heading to the airport. They're trying to leave. What? Then that means I haven't got much time for my next build. Come on. Okay, well, I'm back in the creative realm, so I'll just build a, 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 a vampire. That's right, I'll just build a vampire. We'll start with the feet here. Uh, oh, wait, why would a vampire have shoes like that? Okay, okay, don't panic, Steve. It's not like we're running out of time or anything. Uh, okay, how about I build like a piranha? That's right, a piranha with very sharp teeth. Made completely of gold? What am I thinking? Oh, Guido, this is not going well! What do you mean I'm too short to have a normal seat? He's calling you tiny, Billy. Uh, Steve, I think we're running out of time! <gasps> oh my gosh, they're gonna fly out of the dimension! Uh, wait, fly? Guido, I know exactly what I need to build now. We are going to build ourselves an ancient, mythical dragon. We'll put the head down right here with a candle on top. Huh? Why? Well, Guido, this is going to be an undead dragon. That's why it's on the ground. Now for the tail, we'll put this down here. Make sure we got a little slab right there. And we're going to extend the tail all the way around this way. Then we'll go ahead and add ourselves some wings. Then for the webbing in the wings, we're going to use these crimson trap doors just like this. And hey, presto, that is one undead dragon. I want to watch Speed and Gamma They're arguing about movies. That must mean they're in the plane. Okay, Guido, let's bring this to reality. Steve, they're leaving! Okay, don't worry, I got this, I got this! Go, dragon, go! Boom! <laughs> Guido, it's going down! Uh, we should really check on them. Fine, they're probably so embarrassed that they got pranked anyway. How's it going down there? Go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Great prank, Steve! Oh... Introducing the official Checkpoint website. This is the central hub for every Checkpoint fan in the multiverse. Learn more about the heroes and villains, browse our latest merch drops, 
and create your very own checkpoint characters to share with your friends. Link in the description. Have fun!